Hello and welcome to this Minecraft tutorial with me Groover. Now today I have for you this super fast minecart unloader or hopper minecart unloader. Basically these are super useful for really really long runs where you're going to have to have the minecart in the station for the minimum amount of time. It's quite nice, it's quite simple. I'll give you a quick look over for a lot of the people who just want to get on and build this and not really question too many things. Um, this is tileable. It is simple and it works basically and that's all that you really want. Okay so I've thrown a few items down on the track this will sort of give you a view of it in action. It's going to unload that there's about four stacks of items in there right now and it's unloading them super quickly um, as you can see and then eventually they'll make the way down here into the chest. Should do. Sweating now. Why are they not? Oh, that's why. That's why. Very, very silly. Jeez. <clears throat> anyway, this is how it works. Okay, we're going to start this build and show you the block by block build version of it. And um, I'll tell you everything, what everything is doing along the way, just so you know exactly what my thought process was whilst building this. So we've got our line coming along the way here, and we've got our hopper to collect things and our double chest ready. So this is where we want things to go. Down there I wanted things a bit higher so I just had this come up the way a little bit and then drop down. So it, it works in any which way. And this is totally tileable so it's absolutely fine. So first things first is we're going to want to get a hopper minecart into that block. So to do that I'm just going to do this like that, get rid of that, it doesn't really matter. Do that, bang, done. That's it in place. I normally like to put blocks all the way around it because then I know it's not going to wiggle. There we go. Okay. And if you were tiling this along, this is totally tileable, then you'd do exactly the same along the way and you'd have your hopper line going underneath with the hopper minecart on top. Okay. So right here we're going to place in a solid block. We're then going to get the detector rail and then another rail, it doesn't matter which one, just to make it pop up like that. And this is going to make sure that it runs back off when it's done. Now this honey block, very important, this slows the, slows the minecart down, the hopper minecart, just enough for things to stop it. Okay, this will make sense in a moment. And then we have another solid block on top of there. Now at the top here we're going to use piston soft inversion to extend the distance of the um, redstone. I'll explain what piston soft inversion is. So basically if I power this block, which we'll go into in a moment, then that will unpower this torch because the torch is attached to the piston. Now the thing that I don't want to happen is for the piston to be going up and down all the time. It can do, but I don't want it to. So I'm going to put a piece of obsidian on top of that. So when that block gets soft powered, or when this um, piston gets soft powered, that is going to also turn off. So that's piston soft inversion. Okay. So I'm going to come back here and we're going to use the comparator. The comparator actually takes a reading from the detector rail if the hopper minecart lands on it with something inside it. If there's nothing inside it, that does nothing. It's pretty cool. Then directly on the back of that, we're going to get our sticky piston and our redstone block. Let's go like that. So the sticky piston sits like that. That's going to take the power directly from the comparator. Redstone block directly on top of that. And then we're going to have like a little bridging block right here. And then on top of that, we need a repeater. Okay, so that makes sure that the power comes back through, powers this, soft inverts that, job done. Now the final thing that we need to put in place is the fence gate. And that is the angle of the fence gate that you want. Now this is going to let the minecart out when it's open and stop it from leaving when it's closed. And that's going to get the power through this. So if I get myself a hopper minecart on here, you'll soon see everything in action. Let's just throw, ooh, I don't know, 20 items in there. This is going to be pretty quick. So like that. Very, very simple. And like you see, when it's empty, it doesn't set this off. It's going to take a little bit longer for the items which have come through this system to filter all the way to the chest. But the idea is that this will be attached to a very long run. So this can be out running around for five minutes and just get back here in the five minutes time to unload. I say five minutes, you don't want to really go in more than four minutes so it's got a full minute to unload. But it's going to unload super, super quick. 
So let's show you that. Right, we've gone and collected everything. So you can see it, that's the speed at which it unloads. Super fast unloader, pretty compact, totally tileable. Most of those items are going to sit in this hopper for a while. See, it's getting filled up quite quickly. So this one's ready to receive everything from that one. And whilst that one's going off and doing its thing, this one is going to unload into the hopper. The hopper is then going to take its time with a little bit of capacity and unload into the chest. So it's, um, it's perfect, really. It's great. And it's tileable, as we saw.